When it comes to movies, do you think Goodfellas is going to be what you'll always be remembered for? I hope not. Um, I would say that it certainly is a great movie, and I was, I'm was proud to be in it and pleased to be in it, but it's, uh, it's only one section, one small section of what I am, and it's completely antithetical to my personality. It's nothing like me as a human being. I'm not lethal that way unless you want to hurt my children, and then I suppose I could be as lethal as any human being on the, on the planet. It may be because it was such a success that may be so, but I would rather that they would look at a television movie called Dummy, where I played a deaf lawyer, or uh, where I played Kissinger in uh, Nixon. And most people don't know that I was Kissinger, but that's because they don't know the, 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 the real uh, story about uh, when they see the character in the movies, they don't really uh, understand the genesis of it. The scene in Goodfellas when you're obsessing over how you should slice the garlic, yeah. Uh, yeah. That, that's a great scene. Too. That's one of the great moments in movie history, not because of me, but because that's just one of those things. The character was a real-life character. That's what he did. So I guess I was in such a zone, just slicing that garlic, because it was like the most important thing in the world to do, that that became the quintessential gesture of that movie, which is fascinating, because Scorsese said the same thing. He said it's curious that that one thing should should be the thing people remember of that movie. So how come you're not one of these people that is saying that this is bad for Italians? Like, so well, because it's not. I mean, how is it bad for Italians? If people want to think that of the 25 million Italian Americans we have in this country, the 2,000 or so, according to the FBI, mafiosi, were Italian American, if that makes all the rest of us gangsters, well, the fools who would believe that are let them, you know, wallow in their own ignorance. That's fine with me. Between the, uh, the acting and the singing mm. and the poetry and everything else, um, what do you think is your, your best talent? As far as what I know how to do that I feel like I'm really master of, I would say it's my sculpture, although I have much to learn, plenty to learn. Uh, my acting, uh, I certainly have to learn there every day, you have to learn. I would say that I certainly am in control of my poetry. To whatever degree I play the piano, what I play, I play well. Am I a master? Can I play Rachmaninoff's third? No. But can I, will I, if you tell me I have to, within six months, could I do it? Certainly, yes, I could. Yeah, I, I have a lot of passion for life. I've lived a, a very full life. I've lived a, a very interesting life. I've, I have three extraordinary children, a grandchild. I've had a lot of love in my life, a lot of romance. I've been married twice. I've done a lot of things that most men never get a chance to do. Uh, I've had a look at paradise in a certain sense. I know that there are certain things in my life that I've reached, at least for a moment here or there, a very high level. Certain moments, sometimes on the stage, sometimes in front of a camera, sometimes with the bronze, with the, with the clay, sometimes with the pencil, sometimes with the voice. Certain, it just, there's certain moments, athletes call it being in the zone, but there are thousands and thousands of athletes. There are very few artists of high accomplishment. And when you've done that, you've seen that, it's hard to live in the real world again. It's very difficult to live in the real world when you've seen the vision of paradise that artists get to see.